had to go with your mom. Did you get any answers? No, she was sedated. All she said was that she was sorry. For what? I have no idea. Honestly, whatever did or did not happen with Drew and I all those years ago, she's kept it hidden forever. So what if it stays hidden? What if for whatever reason you never get answers from her? How are you gonna heal? Oh, good you found him. Elizabeth was going out of her mind. Now things are back to normal. Or not. I'm in here so late. Do you have a delivery? Uh, yeah, actually a healthy, beautiful baby girl. But I was trying to access the patient database, but my password wasn't working. The system is touchy. Let me show you a trick. Are you sure? I mean, if you're busy. No, it's fine. I'll be in the art therapy room. Okay, I definitely interrupted. What's going on with you and Franco? Hey. Hi. Hey. I was just texting Elizabeth to see if you ever turned up. Well, here I am. She must be relieved. She's a lot of things. Where were you? It's a long story, but... Let's just say in the last 24 hours, I've been through hell both physically and emotionally. Are you okay? I will be if Elizabeth can ever forgive me. Franco's on this mission to uncover a time in his childhood that has been buried for decades. Like something he's repressed, you mean? Bits and pieces have come back to him and feelings surrounding it, but he can't quite piece it all together. And I just found out about this. Hmm. And has Franco been struggling with this for a while? Yeah. And he might have left it alone if I hadn't kept pushing him. I wanted the truth. I understand. Probably for him. And for me. For us. Having the secret between us, it... I guess it's made me question if I can trust him. Okay. So, after all of that, did you find out what happened? He says he still doesn't remember. Do you believe him? Really? Get Elizabeth. No. Wait. No. You need to focus on you, okay? Figure out what happened to you and Drew as kids, and then and only then are you going to be able to fix this whole mess. Yeah. Kind of scared of what I might find out. No. But is there anything scarier than losing Elizabeth? And I hate to even say that, because I really want you to do this for yourself no, and not for her. There is nothing scarier than losing Elizabeth. That's not even an option. Okay, then. You have to face your past, or you're going to screw up your future. I believe Franco when he says he doesn't remember. And then he wants to find out. But... But... It's not just about me. Right. You have three young boys you need to think about. Yeah. And what kind of life is that? Constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop. That is not the type of environment I want to raise my kids. One of uncertainty. And as much as I love Franco, my children are my priority to create a loving and stable household for them. And if Franco is an obstacle to that, then I don't know, but he's also a huge part of that. Mm. Listen, I would never presume to tell you what to do. No, please, tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, what I will say is obviously only you can make the right decision. But I want to leave you with this. If you are lucky enough to find love, and obviously you have, please think long and hard before you let it go. Because it may not come back around. <laughs>